Hey, what's up? I'm Jack from All Time Low, and this is my seven of 30. Uh, one, seven, 14, six, 24, 28, 30. Uh, I don't really remember what I wanted to be when I was a kid. Probably like a police officer or firefighter, um, kind of the standard answer, but it was uh, definitely looked up to those kind of people when I was, when I was a kid, and I still do, but uh, I definitely was like really into that kind of stuff. And um, as soon as I turned 10 and 11 and started listening to like rock music, uh, it was just straight, I want to be in a band. You know, that's like, that's, that's what I want to do. Uh, I mean, what are we talking? Are we talking beer, Jack Daniels, Jameson? Um, I think that I'm a very optimistic person. Um, and so I guess half full. I used to get in like a lot of fights with my parents when we were transitioning through going to college or not, or being in the band. You know, we were 18 and we just got signed and I used to get in like crazy fights with them about like, you need to go to college, you need to at least like do this and do that. And I was like 17 and I was just not having any of it. And uh, I used to def that was definitely a hard moment in life. And I used to, there's a good two or three weeks where I, I hated everyone. Double cross someone for my own benefit. Yeah, I've done that before for sure. Um, I'm kind of known as that dude around the band and crew. You know, if if uh, if there's something that I want to get done, I've 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 been known to uh, to uh, be kind of sneaky about it and do some suspect things. Nothing to hurt anyone, obviously. Just like to get a hotel room faster. To the, you know, like to to kind of be first. But uh, it's all in good fun for sure. Uh, I would say spiritual, you know, um, I'm not the kind of dude that's like, there's only one God and there's only one answer to everything. Um, I just believe in, I believe in this. I believe that everyone can have their own opinion and that there's probably a lot of stuff out there that isn't, can't be explained and that it's all about finding your inner peace. Proudest day of my life. I'm not going to say the proudest, but one of the proudest was um, when me, we and Alex got to meet Mark Hoppus. And uh, it's kind of the first time that our band came full circle for us. You know, me and Alex started this band to, to, to be Blink-182, you know, to be that kind of band and to, uh, to, to have as much fun as they have and, and live the dream that they're living. So um, the day that me and Alex went into the studio, with, uh, with, with Mark Hoppus, it was, it was really crazy, you know, to, uh, you know, I've been idolizing this guy for, for many years and he's just sitting in front of me right now and that was, that was really cool. Um, I've never walked in on any of our band, or many of my bandmates having sex backstage, but um, I was at an uh, MTV Woody Award after party and uh, I remember the night really well because I'm a big Andrew McMahon fan and, and it was my first time meeting him and um, I was just in a really good mood and I was having a couple of drinks with him and I went into the bathroom and I realized some, someone was banging in the, in the stall next to me, in the, in the bathroom stall next to me. Just weird animal noises coming out of there and stuff. And uh, yeah, so I left the bathroom and about 10 seconds after that, you know, one of our crew members walked out and I was like, wow, I just listened to one of my best friends having sex. That was very awkward. Who should Rock Sound interview next? Let them know in the comments below. Pick someone really good, please.